is how are you today i am going to discuss some question from get 2015 the question was one of the question was the most suitable reagent to affect the following transformation so this is an alpha beta epoxy uh, ketone which is converted to an allylic alcohol so this is uh, actually an important name reaction called Wharton reaction Wharton reaction so in this reaction what happens uh, alpha beta epoxy ester is treated with alpha beta epoxy ester is treated with uh, a NH2 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 that is hydrogen in presence of a base sometime water itself acts as a base in heating condition then it will be converted into an allylic alcohol that is the product will be this so this is uh, mm, here the reaction will be the Wharton reaction and we will discuss the mechanism if uh, the keto uh, react with hydrogen then it will be converted into hydrogen one molecule of H2 will be removed so it will be hydrogen now it uh, will undergo tautomerization so it will be like this and then a ring cleavage will occur the OH minus will take this proton that is the base which is uh, involved in reaction and uh, will get the product allylic alcohol and uh, the stereochemistry of this allylic alcohol will be as the stereochemistry of the epoxide if it is from below the plane then the OH will be below the plane so the reagent for the following transformation will be N2H4 KOH in heating condition next question the major product formed in the following reaction this is an mm, epoxide ring attached to an cyclo action this is an tertiary uh, butyl group which is treated with NaN3 so this will be an epoxide ring opening reaction and this will follow the forced platinum rule forced platinum rule according to this uh, rule we will tell first we will draw the uh, conformation of uh, this cyclohexan epoxide as the epoxide ring sorry we will draw this here as the epoxide ring is above the plane so it will have a half shear conformation half shear the tertiary butyl group is in this carbon and above the plane so it will be like this and, and it will equilibrate with another conformation which will be this and here the tertiary butyl group in axial position so as uh, the uh, tertiary butyl group in equatorial position will be more stable than this so the equilibrium will shift towards left and this uh, this conformation will participate in reaction mainly so from this conformation now NaN3 will attack so according to first partner rule the attack uh, will occur at that carbon from which we will get the more stable uh, diaxial chair conformation so if uh, attack occur in this carbon n3 minus attack occur in this carbon then this carbon will uh, go downward and it will go upward so we will get 
diaxial chair conformation so this will uh, go, uh, come this uh, came in downward direction so n3 and it uh, go to upward direction so it will be oh in this carbon this is an tertiary butyl group in equatorial position but on the other hand if n3 minus attack in this carbon then it will come in downward direction and it will go to upward direction so it will result a twist to board conformation here will be n3 and here will be the OH and the equatorial the tertiary orbital group will be here so this is a twist to board twist to board and this is shear diaxial shear conformation so the n3 minus will preferentially attack into this position so if we convert this into chair form into chair form yeah, sorry into in this form this is chair form then we will have tertiary butyl group will placed here and the n3 group is from below the plane after one carbon so it will be from below the plane in this carbon and the which above the plane next carbon so this will be our product next question sorbolysis of optically active compound x gives mainly so as you can see here there is a phenyl group and this is the living group so if uh, a phenyl group is attached into the alpha carbon then mainly the neighboring group participation will occur and it will act as a neighboring group so this pi bond will uh, facilitate the departure of this ortheos group the living group so here we will get uh, one phenonium ion intermediate that will be OME here will be the positive charge methyl here will be one hydrogen methyl hydrogen and this uh, cation is resonance stabilized we will not draw all the resonating structure and the resonance hybrid will be like this so this is the resonance hybrid now into this uh, in this intermediate the OIC minus will attack it may attack in two possible way either in this carbon or in this carbon it, it has a plane of symmetry which will pass through this plane so as it has one plane of symmetry so the attack of this nucleophile into this uh, intermediate uh, into this uh, two possible point will be equally probable so 50% attack will be occur at this carbon and 50% attack will occur at this carbon so the corresponding product will we get 50% 50% so AC minus if attack here then we will get the product like this OAC here the phenyl group OME and the methyl here is the methyl and if attack occur into this carbon then the ring opening reaction will occur in this fashion so OAC will be here here the phenyl group OME and the methyl here is the methyl now uh, this two compound here the hydrogen hydrogen is below the plane here also the hydrogen is below the plane hydrogen is below the plane now if we uh, determine the configuration of uh, this center then the parity sequence uh, of this three group one two three 
so this is s configuration as the hydrogen is below the plane and here also the hydrogen is below the plane here the con uh, the priority sequence is uh, here with this carbon one two three carbon is attached one is phantom carbon and uh, in this carbon one carbon hydrogen and oxygen is attached so the priority of this group will be higher so one two three clockwise so it has configuration r now here in this carbon uh, the configuration uh, the priority sequence one two three so this is s and this is one two three this is r so as you can see that the OSC attached into this carbon has configuration S whereas OSC attached to this configuration has uh, configuration R whereas it has configuration R it has configuration S so here the compound has configuration RS if we uh, we first draw the uh, take the configuration of the center RS and here the configuration is SR so these two compounds are enantiomer to each other these two compounds are enantiomer of each other and this will produce 50 percent and this will produce 50 percent so if in a solution each enantiomer produced uh, in 50 percent amount so that mixture will be a racemic mixture and uh, it will obviously be inactive optically inactive next question the major product formed in the following reaction cyclohexane one methyl group one soph there is sulfoxanium group which is treated with ac 2 o naoch 2 o this is an important name reaction called pumera rearrangement pumera reaction pumera reaction so what happens basically in this reaction we can draw this SOPH sulfoxenium group like this it will react with into uh, this group uh, this electrophile so it will be OCOCH3 this is the phenyl one hydrogen is there OAC minus OAC minus will take this <coughs> proton and one elimination will take place so the product will be SPH positive charge on S now OAC will attack OAC will attack into this carbon and we will get the product methyl SPH O COCH3 now in presence of H2O it will hydrolyze to this uh, these two group these two carbon attached will hydrolyze to convert it into a carbonyl group so this will be the product so guys if you have any doubt regarding this video please let me know in comment box and to get such interesting videos subscribe my channel thank you have a good day